Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be working on a couple of bonus pages at the end of my December Daily 2020 album. So uh, one of the pages I actually don't have anything to do uh, left to it. It's just this this holiday checklist that I went ahead and filled all out with the dates and notes and all of that stuff. However, I do have a second page that goes with it, this one over here, which is the calendar of the month. And what I did, um, both of these, I should say, are from the black and white collection from Paper Person. Um, so what, I'm, what I did for this side is I printed photos from every single day of the month of December. Uh, they are printed at three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to cut them out and put them in the squares that correspond to the days. So since my stories are not necessarily chronological in this book, this is a way for me to add in a photo from that specific day for each day of the month. So that's going to be one of the things I'm going to get done today. I'm going to complete in today's video. Then I've got a page that's all about gratitudes. I did go ahead and print off my six gratitude cards here. Those are going to slip down inside of these envelopes and I'm thinking I'm just going to stamp the numbers one through six on top of those. And then the last page here is going to be a mini album all about our elf Mary. So I have the photos printed. Uh, they are two inches by two inches, but they're printed on four by six uh, paper here. So those are going to attach to the top. And then I've got a little bit of journaling printed for each of those just to talk about what she did for that specific day. That will go underneath it. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything else in here just because my album is already super bulky. I might just leave it as is. And then um, on the back, I've got this quote that I stamped out and did a little bit of hand stitching around and I'm just going to adhere it to the back of this page. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I am skipping over Christmas because I'm actually waiting on something to arrive in the mail today that will help me finish that particular page. So I'm going to do these bonus pages first and then we'll go back and finish up the album by doing Christmas Day. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward while I get everything put together here. And then uh, once we're done, I will slow you guys back down. I will read you a little bit of the journaling that I've got to go with these pages. And then that will be it for today's video. So let's go ahead and get started. So since most of the prep work for these pages has already been completed ahead of time, this spread is going to come together really, really quickly today. So the first thing I did was to take out the pages that I'm going to be working on. I left the uh, checklist in the album because that I already filled out and that is all I'm going to do to that page. For the first one I'm working on here, it's just that little calendar. Um, the way that that calendar is set up is it starts with Sunday on the very bottom and goes all the way up to Saturday up at the top. So it's not like a standard, I suppose, <laughs> calendar. I guess if you turned it on its side, then it would be at the right orientation where it's Sunday through Saturday. Um, but that is why you're going to see me start to fill this from the bottom left hand corner up to the top. So I am just going to trim out these little tiny photos, use my roller adhesive and add them into the squares. The squares themselves are probably more along the lines of one inch by one inch, but I figured by printing them at a at three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch, it would give me a little bit of a white border around each of those pictures. And I like the way that that looks in this calendar. When I went to print my photos for this spread as well, I made sure to print out photos that were not the same as the stories I told. So there is not really any overlap in terms of the photos here. It's just, there is, I will say there is overlap between these photos and let's say my project life spread, but this was a way for me to add some more of those smaller little detail type things into the spread as well. The last one also was not a real picture. I actually just took the goodbye 2020 word art from Allie Edwards. That was a free download that she offered on the Facebook group. Um, I took that and, and put that into a square in order to print it off. So I don't necessarily have a picture from the 31st because at this point that's actually tomorrow. Um, but I figured that the word art was good enough for that. 
So now we've got the calendar done and we can move on to this gratitudes page. For this one, I printed these little squares of journaling or rectangles. I believe they are two and a half inches by one and three quarters inches, something in there is the size of those envelopes. I just measured them with a ruler and then made little um, <clears throat> like separate canvas type things in Photoshop to fill with my words. So I also grabbed my number stamp. This was from the 2020 travel release and those numbers fit perfectly onto those rectangles. So I chose two different inks to use. The first is Astoria. It's that very, very light pink. And the other one is Columbia, which is this teal color. I think if I had started with the teal color, I may have just done all of them in teal. But since I did stamp the one in the pink, I decided to alternate it. So the odd numbers will have the pink and the even numbers will have that teal color. Um, but I like the way that it numbers these gratitudes one through six with a little bit of color and really that is all that this needed and it didn't really even need to be stamped. I just liked that to add a little bit of extra interest onto this page. So I will put away all of these supplies. Both of those inks, by the way, are from Allie Edwards. They are her crafters inks. Um, and I, I liked the pink and the teal because these pages right here have a lot of pink and teal in them. So then I'm just going to pop open those envelopes and stick these down inside. This was a page that I created prior to December Daily. It's one of my foundation pages. And if you are interested in seeing how this page came together, I will go ahead and link the um, process video for that up at the eye. So you can check that out to see how that page was made. Then we are going to move on to this Mary mini album. So this is a waterfall or a waterfall page that I made where I have space for four pictures and four spots of journaling. The pictures are all four by sixes and then the journalings, the journalings, the journaling, uh, pieces there, I guess, are one inch tall by six inches wide. And all I did for each of them was to put like day one, you know, Mary arrived and candy day two, um, you know, whatever it was that she did for day two, I forget at this point, day three, bring a letter to fill out for Santa a wish list letter, and that sort of thing. And those correspond to the photos in the in the pictures above the journaling. I, when I did this foundation page, I considered adding some decorative elements down at the pattern paper sections. And I still think that would be really pretty to do. But because my album at this point is so bulky, I didn't want to do that because I was worried it wouldn't be able to close <laughs> if I added any more bulk to that page. So I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm just going to let it be the pattern papers there. I do, I'll, at a later point in time, not in this video, go back and add some tabs, some Avery tabs, in order to make those pages easier to flip up. The last thing I need to do here is add this quote page onto the back of the pattern paper. That is one of the crepe paper, um, Hey Santa, I want to call it Merry Days. It's Hey Santa line. Um, it's just super cute, the houses in the pink. And I thought that it went really well with the pink and red stamping with the green around it. Uh, so what I had done is I double stamped. I stamped in pink and then I stamped in red using um, an alphabet stamp from close to my heart. And then I stitched around it, like I drew a scallop and then poked holes and did some hand stitching around it. Then I decided to just go ahead and cut that quote out so that I could put it onto the back of this page and have it with that pink mat. I think it looks really cute that way. So that is going to do it for this spread. So we'll go ahead and slow you guys back down. All right, friends. So that completes our project for today. So I've got these two pages here. I love the way that this turned out with those little tiny photos in there. And then I've got the gratitudes page, this little Mary flip up book with all of the photos of our elf and where she was throughout the course of the month. And the quote here is, is adhered and put onto the back of this particular page. So the only other thing that I am going to do is I will just go ahead and read these little gratitude cards. Uh, so they slide out from the envelope there. This one says, I'm grateful that even though we had to do things differently this year, we were still able 
we were still able to find alternative ways to make our annual traditions a reality. I'm so grateful that we were still able to get a real tree, enjoy our scavenger hunt, and host Christmas Adam. Um, thinking maybe I'll just leave them out <laughs> and I'll put them in in a second. The second one says, I am grateful that we were able to talk to Danielle and RJ this month. I'm grateful that things are going well for them and that this next year will give them opportunities for new adventures. I'm grateful for health and happiness of our siblings. The third one here says, I am grateful that my parents plus Axel and Haley were willing to quarantine for the two weeks leading up to Christmas. That way we could all spend the holidays together. I'm grateful for what felt like a little bit of normalcy, spending time in person with family. For number four, I said, I am grateful that Caitlin was totally on board with having me create a December daily album for them this year. It was so fun to document their memories of their first Christmas with May, and I loved having a reason to keep in regular contact with Caitlin throughout the month. Number five, I am so grateful for Erin, who supported me this December as I juggled teaching, work, holiday prep, and completing a process video every night. It was an intense month, and he was a major reason why I was able to make it work. I'm so grateful that he took on the meals and the laundry, and that he took the time to look at my pages. And then the last one here, number six, I am so grateful for the love that was showered on my family this season, from our family members and our friends to my crafty online community. We all felt the warmth and joy from the support, well wishes, and gifts that we received this season. I'm grateful that December 2020 still filled our lives with all the magic. So those are my six gratitudes from the month of December. Um, so that is going to be it for these bonus pages. I do have one more video to do for you guys for December 25th. And while I was filming this today, my package arrived. So I have all the supplies I need to get that page done. So um, I am going to close up for this particular video, which if you enjoyed this one, I would love a thumbs up down below. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you can see all of the future content I have coming your way. I am going to be uh, filming the next video right away here. And as soon as I can get that edited, I will probably post this video right away and then post the next one for tomorrow morning. So um, I think that that will work out nicely. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your evening and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye now.